Hello everyone and welcome back to W Bricks. With the 2023 year coming to a close, it is finally time to discuss Lego investing. Lego investing has become extremely popular over the last few years and it is definitely a way to make a lot of money. So make sure to stick to the end of the video. From the beginning of it, I'm going to start with sets that you can pay pretty cheap prices for to then hopefully get some good profit. But by the end, I'm going to be showing you how you could possibly be making $500 to $1,000. So make sure to stay to the end of the video. Like and subscribe if you enjoy and let's get started. Remember, take everything in here with a small grain of salt. This is my predictions for what sets will become very popular and very expensive in the coming years. I have been collecting Lego for 17 and a half years, so I do have quite a good idea of what should become worth a lot of money. And if you just look at the trends from the last few years, then you can definitely see what will be worth money. So remember, this is gambling. Uh, when you do do this, when you do invest in Lego, it is a gamble. So you don't know, is it going to be worth more or is it going to be worth less? Now, thankfully, the 10 items I have listed here in the video, I have almost... I can almost guarantee that these are going to be worth more money. So I think these are very safe bets. But anything that I don't list here, I there's really not much I think could that could end up becoming worth a lot of money, such as Lego Ninjago. I've only got one Ninjago set in here that I think could really end up getting profit. And I think that same with the Minecraft line. I don't think there's very much there that'll end up getting enough profit to make it worth your time. I do have one set there. But what we're going to focus on is icons, ideas, and Star Wars. So let's get into the first set. All right, and the first set up here is from Lego Star Wars, and it is the Snowtrooper Battle Pack. Now, you can find this thing at a very, very solid low price at about $15.99, about anywhere you go. This is definitely a great way to start your Lego investing career. About $15.99, if you, if you just want to get one, two, three, whatever, you can just dip your toes in the water just a little bit just to see what it's like. Now, this is probably the safest bet here. Every single LEGO Star Wars Battle Pack has increased in value. I don't think there's a single one that has decreased in value at all. Not even the Tatooine Battle Pack decreased in value. Every single one increased in value. So this is basically a 99.9% .9 chance of success here. I don't think you can go wrong with this. Pick the set up, hold on to it for three, five years, somewhere in there. And then you can definitely be looking at the market to and to see when people really are starting to pay high prices for this set. This set will definitely shoot up in value. I estimate probably about three to five years. I'm estimating about 50, maybe $70, depending on the demand for snowtroopers. I know we got a lot of Hoth stuff recently, but if they would reintroduce a Master Builder Series Hoth set, or a new snow speeder, whatever, this set could be very, very valuable very, very quickly. So I see this as a definite, really quick, easy option to dip your toes in with Lego investing. I'm probably going to pick up a couple here right before they retire just to have on the side, just in case they do shoot up in value because I think it is definitely the risk worth ta taking. And if for some reason it doesn't shoot up in value, you got a decent snowtrooper battle pack on your hands. It's not like it's a bad set to have. You can always use more snowtroopers. So I'll definitely be investing in this one this year. I highly recommend you do the same. I think this is a great one for people to start on. The next set up here is another extremely safe option from Lego Star Wars, and that is the Republic Fighter Tank. Now, this set is only $40, but you can find it on sale at Target and online for probably about $32.99, somewhere in that price range. This is a great set to pick up and invest in. Obviously, clone troopers are very, very highly demanded here in the Lego Star Wars space. I mean, I live and breathe clone troopers, and a lot of community members do the same. I don't see these 187th troopers ever coming back, so this is definitely the time to get them. Pick them up before they're gone, and these will definitely shoot up in value. I'm going to estimate this set's going to be worth over $100, maybe $110 within three years. This is this set is definitely going up, guys. I, I It absolutely is. It was only on shelves for, what, a year and a half, two years, somewhere in there. I think it was March 1st of last year. So about a year and three-fourths at this point. This is definitely a terrific set to pick up for investing. The clone troopers will shoot up in value. Even if you want to part out the clone troopers eventually, if you want to keep the fighter tank for yourself, you could easily part out these clone troopers here within the coming years and and make definite profit off of the, the clones alone. So very, very, very good 
um, investment. It's just absolutely. I, I'm going to invest in this one. This is one I highly, highly recommend to do. I do not see this one decreasing at all. At all. All right. The next cheapest set up here is going to be the Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter. Now, this is $30 retail. But you can easily find this on sale now for $23.99. And I think this is an extremely safe bet for investing. Every single Jedi Starfighter has gone up in tremendous value. I, I, every single one. It's, it's a 100% perfect record. All of them go up in a very, very good value. All of them. Every single set. So I think this is definitely an easy one to pick up. $23.99 when you could expect that maybe, maybe in, in five to eight years, this thing's going to be worth a couple hundred. Absolutely pick this set up, guys. I, I, I definitely recommend this one. Not only is it a great Starfighter, but you do get that Kaminoan minifigure as well, which is going to make this set even more expensive. If they don't release a Kaminoan in another set, that would mean this would be the only Kaminoan. Keep in mind, guys, it took us 24 years to get a Kaminoan minifigure. Could it be another 24 before we see another one? So I definitely see this set rising in value at a tremendous rate. $23.99. I already have one ready and, and in my Lego storage space just, just to be safe that I've got one to invest with. So definitely make sure to pick one up for yourself. All right, now that we're kind of in the middle of the video, before we get started on the really expensive sets here, I want to talk about what, how important it is to pick out the best product for investing. You don't want to be getting a box that's crushed or damaged at all. You want to have the best possible box you can. And at the same time, you also want to make sure that you're storing it in a good, clean environment. If it's dirty or if it smells, whatever, it's definitely going to be losing value. You need to keep those boxes completely safe in a good environment or it could definitely lose its value all right now next up here i'm going to jump over to the ninjago set that i was talking about and i think that this one has a very good chance of going up in value and it is the crystal king temple set now most temple sets do go up in value and if you can find this set on sale for $65 to $70, I think that's a good place to invest. And here's why. First of all, it comes with all four Ninja minifigures in their traditional Season 16 robes. And this is the only set where you can get them. So this set has four exclusive minifigures, which right off the bat is extremely good. You don't really see four exclusive minifigures in a set too often. So I think that is a very good ratio to begin with people love to get exclusive minifigures and having a set with four of them in it is terrific not only that this is a mock builder's dream set there are so many incredible parts in beautifully unique colors in this set all of those transparent pink pieces are absolutely phenomenal and i see this one definitely going up in value like i said most ninjago temple sets do most ninjago sets in general do go up in value i would say about 80 percent of ninjago sets go up in in good value not many lose value a, a few of them stick around the same value say about 15%, maybe 18% stick around the same value, 80% raise in value, and probably about 2% lose value. It's extremely, extremely rare for Lego sets to lose value after, after time. But I think this is probably your safest bet to get a good profit margin in Ninjago for this year. I think that the, the exclusive minifigures and the pieces and you know it being a temple build really set it off and make it unique. And I, I definitely see the value for this one skyrocketing in the future, possibly even up to a $200 price point. So you could double, maybe even triple your value in the upcoming years. Quite a few temples really, really go up in value. I, I always love temples. I, I spent a little under $500 last year to get a perfectly sealed uh, fire temple set from 2011. So who knows, is this Crystal Temple the next Fire Temple? Probably not, but you never know. I do think, though, that this is definitely your best option for LEGO Ninjago. All right, next up here is going to be the Minecraft set, and this is the $130 Llama Village. This one is also like the Ninjago one. The sets like this typically go up in value. One, you've got two exclusive villager minifigures, which is terrific. You've got the exclusive pink sheep, and the sheep, mini figure, the sheep figure colors 
those are always shoot up in value. You know, th those are so those are probably some of the most expensive Minecraft minifigures you can get. I think that this is probably your best option in the Minecraft area. Once again, not many sets lose value in the Minecraft in, um, wave, the, the line. Nothing really loses value. There's only a few that I can think of that have lost value. So I think that this is probably a great set to invest in. I would recommend probably every other set on this list before you try this one. But when I was looking through the list of every set retiring, I think that this one definitely has a decent chance of becoming very expensive. So make sure to watch out for that one. If you can find it on a really good sale, I probably would not buy this full price, by the way. I probably would not spend $130 to invest on this one since this one's probably the riskiest one here on this list. But some Minecraft sets shoot up in value for no reason. And this is one that I see could definitely end up that way, especially with those exclusive the exclusive villagers, exclusive character skins, that sheep skin, the exclusive llamas. There is just there is a lot here that is exclusive and terrific, especially being a big Minecraft set too. So I, I think that this is your is your best option for Minecraft, but this one take with a larger grain of salt, guys, because I Minecraft investing is a lot more difficult to predict than Star Wars Ninjago and, and the other stuff we're going to talk about. All right, here we are halfway through and we're now up to the big expensive sets. These are the sets that could absolutely explode and make you hundreds within a year to two years. So let's get started right away with the cheapest one. And that is going to be the Lego Ideas Medieval Blacksmith. Every single castle set ever made. Every single one. It doesn't matter what theme it's from. What year it's from, every single castle set has raised in value. Every single one. If you know a castle set that has decreased in value and has lost value over the years, send me a DM on Instagram because there is not one. There is not a single one. It doesn't matter if it was the first castle or the most recent. It has not lost value. This medieval blacksmith set is going to skyrocket in value and I'm going to say five to seven years. Lego Castle fans are a huge portion of Lego. Everyone loved the blacksmith. I remember buying this day one and, and everybody just absolutely adored it. This is an incredible set, guys. It really is. And with it retiring, if you do not have one already, I highly recommend picking it up because you are not going to be wanting to pay the price for it in the upcoming years. This thing will definitely skyrocket. Lego idea sets on their own skyrocket. So having a medieval castle Lego idea set, absolutely. Absolutely. This this is just an incredible set. It's a great village builder for for castle or, or the castle theme I should say for a medieval era. We don't really get many medieval era buildings that aren't castles and and outposts and stuff. So this is just a great set to pick up. This one will definitely shoot up in value. I'm predicting this thing will double, possibly even triple within five years. So this is a great one, I think, to invest in. I, I would definitely pick this one over. Yeah, I, this is just a great set, guys. I don't even know what to say. I would definitely, definitely invest in this one. All right, next up here is one that everybody here knows is going to raise in value. You got to have quite a bit of money to invest in it. But uh, yeah, <laughs> actually... You don't even need to invest it. If you don't have this set already, go buy one for yourself. The Star Wars Republic Gunship UCS set is a beautifully, masterfully built Lego set. And it, it, it is flawless in every way other than the minifigures. Every UCS set, once again, every single one, perfect track record, raises in value by a lot. Not just a little bit of value, a lot of value. So this is one that is, once again, a very safe bet to invest in. This one I see be, being worth probably about $600, $700 in the upcoming years. Maybe five years down the line, this is going to be a $500, $600 set. And I see this thing eventually topping out probably about $800 in the future. Highly recommend picking this one up. I I, I do think it is, it's $400 now. They did raise the price on it when I bought mine. Of course, it was $350. But I'm sure you can find this on sale, Amazon, whatever. I know it's sold out on Lego. Uh, but this is definitely a great set to invest in. You, it's basically a 100% chance of going up in value. It definitely will not decrease. So 
This is just an absolutely incredible set to pick up for investing. I see you making a bunch of money with this one. All right, and these last three, easy. Easy money, guys. Easy money. Next up here, in third place, I've got the Lego Creator Expert Modular Police Station. Every modular has gone up in ridiculous value. Ridiculous value. Corner Cafe is like 1500 bucks sealed. Like, th these, these sets are ridiculously valuable. And... And, and it's definitely worth it because these sets are extremely awesome. I, I own most of them. And and I just absolutely love them. The police station, I, I've got it sitting right here next to me right now. Love this set. Excellent set. Looks beautiful. Beautiful. Definitely recommend picking this one up here before it retires to invest. Uh, this is a $200 set, so I bet you could find it on sale on Amazon or something for probably about $180 at this point. Pretty sure it's $200. Leave down in the comment sections if I'm wrong. Can't remember, they're always bumping prices around, so pretty sure this one is a $200 set, but definitely a great option to invest in. All the modular buildings shoot up in ridiculous value, so this one will definitely follow that trend. Next up here is the bookshop from the modular line. Once again, an incredible set. This is one of my favorite modulars of all time. Beautiful colors, beautiful scenery. Absolutely love this set. This one will definitely, once again, raise in tremendous value. I want to say this one's 200 after the price bump. I remember it was 180 at one point, but I think this one did get up to 200 US dollars. So if you can find this thing for 180 or below, I think this is definitely a set that you will want to invest in in 2023 before it retires because this thing will definitely skyrocket. Once again, I see this set hitting five, six, seven hundred dollars in five to seven years. So if you're going to invest, this is a very, very safe option. And in first place, if you stay this long to the end of the video, thank you very much. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below which one of these will you want to invest in. In first place here, guys, we've got the LEGO Creator Expert Modular Assembly Square. This set will definitely shoot up in value. This is your next $1,000, $1,200 set. This was, for a very long time, the largest modular building. I know that in 2024, that's going to change. But this set is an absolutely incredible set. Incredible selection of minifigures there. Incredible selection of buildings. It looks very good. I remember when this was released back in 2017. It is such a beautiful looking set. One that you definitely need in your collection if you don't have. But one that will definitely shoot up in tremendous value. Like I said... This is one of the modulars that I see hitting that $1,000, $1,000 plus price point in a few years. So if you can afford to spend $300 on it now, I can see you making $700 plus in the upcoming years. Keep in mind though, guys, please hold on to these sets. If you buy them, do not sell them right away. Hold on to them for a bit. Let them grow in value. Don't just sell them right when they, they make that initial jump, maybe a $100 jump up and you go crazy. Do not sell it right away. Hold on to these sets. They will keep raising in value and you do not want to sell them before they're extremely expensive. So make sure not to jump the gun on any of these. But this set, Assembly Square, is an incredible set and you definitely should pick it up for investing. I see this being extremely, extremely valuable. Once again, all of the opinions in this video are my own. Some of these might flop. I, I don't see that happening. Like I said, I don't see it happening. Maybe the Minecraft one could flop, and I was wrong about that, but not sure. That was, that was my one that I was like, I'm going to take a little risk on, and I think that this one could work. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching here to the end. I greatly appreciate it. I'm on that road to being monetized and I'm almost there. So if you enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below which one of these would you like to invest in the most? Just great sets to invest in this year's guys. Great sets in general. Make sure to comment down below. Thank you all very much for watching here today. And I'll see you all later on W Breaks.